hello everyone welcome back to my channel jp Tech. so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe now let's start the project first of all let's go to the xml part and let's design some code here so first i'm gonna need the text view so open angular bracket type text view height and width i'm gonna use wrap contain for both let me give the text size to 40 sp and i need id for this i'm gonna use tv and then close it now next i'm gonna need two button here so i'm gonna give the button i didn't with same here also wrap contain and then i'm gonna need the id for the button so i'm gonna use this is button underscore one okay next need text for the button this is button a now let me increase the text size for the button I'm gonna use 35 SP close it now I need one more button so let me just copy this one and then paste here now next remember that the ID must be unique so this is ID button 2 control L, -L to rearrange the code now you can see the buttons are too close now let me bring little far let me first do for the button one so I'm gonna say this is button matching top I'm gonna use 30 dp next for the second button margin top and this also 30 dp control l l to rearrange now you can see it is perfect now the xml part has been completed now let's go to the java and then set the click listener for both the buttons first of all let me initialize first i'm gonna go with the text view private text view and then the variable i'm gonna use tv now next for the button i'm gonna go with private again here it's button now for both the button you can give in one so i'm gonna use button underscore first button comma next button underscore and this is second button close it with semicolon control l, l to rearrange now initialize the object first copy the variable of text view and then go here paste here now equal find view by id r dot id dot and the id is tv okay now close it now for the button also same copy this one press here and then equal find view by id r dot id dot button one okay now close it with semicolon now for the next button i'm just going to copy this one and then press here now change the variable to button two now also change the button id two okay control l, l to rearrange now let's set on click listener for both the button first now copy the variable of button one Just here dot column method set on click listener inside the parameter new view dot on click listener okay now this is the on click listener for the button one now for the second button i'm going to copy this one and then press here now you can see this is the second button but let's change the variable to okay now whenever the button one will be clicked the text will be added to the text view not the set text here we are going to call the append text okay call the variable tv dot append text so open and close inverted comma open text a now for the second one just copy this one and then go to the second click listener past here now also change text to b control l, l to rearrange now you can see whenever the button a will be selected the text a will be added to the text view and whenever the user will click in the second button the text b will be added to the text view okay now let's set the filter to the text view so that the only few letters will be allowed to input okay so call the variable of the text view you can copy this one or you can type by yourself here tv dot call a method set filter okay inside the parameter you call new input filter okay outside give open and close curly bracket so inside the curly bracket call new input filter dot length filter okay so here we have to define how many letters you want to allow the text view to accept so first i'm going to use only the five letters max control 
l to rearrange now let's run the project and see what happened okay guys the apps has launched successfully now let's test the apps first i'm going to click on a you can see the text is set to the text view now let's do with b a again b and then a no more after five because we have set the length filter to five so after five letters text view will not allow to enter more than five text now let's increase the text this time i'm going to use seven and then run again the project now let's see what happened if i will click seven times one two three four five six seven can i do more so only the seven letters accepted this time because i have set the max to seven only this guys for today thank you so much for watching please do subscribe have a nice day